What's up guys? It is Superhero Brothers Talk Show for the first time in probably like 8 months or something like that. Just after a while, I just didn't collect Marvel Legends for a while, and then I got back into it once I went to my Walmart. Um, I mean, I've gotten a couple of Marvel Legends since, but I went to my Walmart and this is the figure I decided to review. Um, I thought this was the coolest one just because it has a lot of accessories and cool stuff. This is one of the 10 year anniversary figures for Marvel Legends in the Marvel Studios situation. I did get the Iron Man one. I don't think I ever reviewed that one, um, but we do have the Red Skull here. And the reason why I picked this up is because I was walking by the clearance section and it was only eight bucks. What kind of Marvel Legends figure is only eight bucks? Anyways, guys, looking at the front of the packaging as you can see we get three or no we get four different head sculpts for the hydra soldier or aka red skull we also get the hydra soldier gun as well as the vest thing i don't know what to call that uh pretty cool in the box here is the side uh there's a little read up if you want to read that there is the back there's also another read up very cool there is the other side so the next figure would be i think a thor or i think it was val no not valkyrie it was sif and thor i believe not much at the bottom. All right, guys, let's crack him open. So here is the Red Skull out of the packaging. And I got to say, I do really like this figure. The only thing that I'm really just kind of iffy about and kind of disappointed is that the figure is a little on the short side. Just my opinion, I did compare him to uh, the just like the generic Captain America Cinematic Universe um, figure. And it is a little bit shorter than Captain America and that Captain America figure is already short. So just that's something that bothers me. But other than that, this figure is honestly very perfect. And uh, I, there has been a couple complaints in other videos. I will get to that. But first, let's get into the accessories. Taking a look at the accessories, we get a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine accessories. If you count the hands and the head, I am going to count the Red Skull head and the two other hands accessories because they do pop off. They are removable, so I'm going to consider them uh, accessories. So first thing we're looking at is this little combat vest. I'm not really sure what to call this. I'm assuming this is what the Hydra soldiers wear, uh, but very cool. There's a lot of detail on this. And uh, it even got the uh, Hydra symbol right there. If I get it to focus, yeah, as you can see, there's the Hydra Soldier, or logo. Putting that down, then we get the first head sculpt. This is a very cool looking head sculpt. I do not know too much about the Hydra Soldiers just because I'm not the biggest fan of the Captain America the First Avenger movie. Um, so I'm not sure what type of soldier this is. It does have the red lenses though. And then here's the other one. This is the, I'm pretty sure this is like the generic Hydra Soldier one uh, that's in most of the movie. Has the black lenses with some more silver kind of going throughout the head. And then this one is the coolest in my opinion. I'm assuming this is like a pilot, uh, a pilot helmet or something like that just because it kind of looks like uh, those masks that freaking fighter jet pilots wear. Um, either that or it's like a gas mask, but it kind of looks mostly like a fighter jet or a Hydra mass i don't know how to explain it guys can't even do my words right um and then we're looking at the red skull head and this is perfect other than that left eye or technically right eye as you can see right there it is like that in all the figures i don't know what it is if this eye looked like that eye over there it would be absolutely perfect um i just don't know why it's kind of like sticking out more than the other one i don't remember him having like a weird popped out eye in the movie so I don't know what that's about, but there is some cool black shading throughout. You do see the ears, nice smooth bald spot. There is this kind of scratch right there. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be detail or not. Then there's the other ear, pretty cool. This is obviously my favorite head scan just because it's you know the one I'm going to be po or displaying it with. And then we have the gun right here, and this is the gun. You're going to have all the Hydra soldiers uh, holding. I will uh, show a little example of the Hydra soldiers. Um, all three different examples with the guns and all that good stuff. And then we get a, I'm, what is this? It's just like a like a cup or a, like a that type of hand. I don't know. It looks like it could hold a cup. I'm <clears throat> not sure how to explain it, um, but there's that. Very cool. Oh, maybe it's supposed to like hold the gun like this. I'm not sure. Um, then we have that. And then we have two different gun holding hands. Very cool. Those are all the accessories. Now let's take another look at the Red Skull. So taking a look at the first Hydra Soldier version, I did use that kind of gas mask pilot looking head sculpt. I just think it looks like very cool out of all of them. 
next to the red skull i think this one is the coolest mask i don't know it just looks so awesome don't you guys think i don't know i'm i'm just more of a fan of that kind of look for or villains or soldiers or whatever rather than open mouth pieces like that i always have i don't know why uh, but looking up close at the head scan very clean everything is perfect paint wise i also did put the vest thing on looks very cool here let me get this freaking figure to focus or this camera to focus very cool has some red outlining and you would think that this figure would be black just because like it just looks like that would that would be what it is in the movie um but it is more like an army green kind of a bluish like army green look to it um just very nice and detailed very cool nice looking they even got the shiny boot look i am a fan of that um i always love when they do that with figures they even got the wrinkles throughout the boots and stuff. Very nice. So also, something I was kind of confused about is if... Let me get this to focus right here. Is it right here? No, it's right here. Um, if you ever look at the bottom of the feet, it says 2017. So I'm not sure if these boots or feet or leg sculpts were used for anything else in 2017. Or this figure is just made in 2017. But I remember this coming out last year. So I'm not quite sure. Uh, but there's that, guys. And now we are going to show the next Hydra Soldier. This is the next Hydra Soldier look. I just interchanged the head to the generic Hydra Soldier mask. And that I did put the gun in. The only problem I have with it is that the finger or the hand is not big enough to fit the finger through that trigger hole right there in the gun. So that's just, that kind of sucks. That just, and then I, like because of that, you can't even like, because of that, you can't even move the gun over here and have him hold it correctly. Um, and I, like as you can see, like look at the arm's not going to be able to reach um, that handle right there. So you're going to kind of just have to like maneuver it around and play with it. Um, but yeah, it just it's, it is very cool looking though. It looks just like a Hydra Soldier. I'm not going to buy like three or four other different versions or other different Red Skull figures just for the soldiers. I'm just going to have this one um, just because I just wanted the Red Skull. I didn't really need any of the other ones. I don't really need Hydra Soldiers. I just wanted the Red Skull just because I don't have a Red Skull. And then instead of doing a separate clip, I'm just going to pop this off and show the next head scan. The next one is just the red lenses. Let's try to get this on. Sometimes different head scans are kind of harder to put on than other ones. I don't know if you guys noticed. I think it's already on. There we have that. Very cool. Uh, this is probably my least favorite one, but it does look very nice. All right, guys, now we're going to get into the articulation. This vest thing probably is not going to hinder any articulation. So first starting off with the head, it is on a ball peg. So it looks up and it looks down and it has a little bit of pivot. Not really, not pivot at all. It does go full 360, but I'm not going to do it now just because it's pretty stiff. And then we also get a upper ab rotation and then we get the shoulders going up and down down not too far we also get a bicep swivel no rotation just bicep swivel and then we get a double jointed elbow joint i can't get the other oh there we go and then this is just on a peg so yeah you know just you guys know i mean all the figures are pretty much the same articulation hand wise and then we also get a wrist rip waist articulation <laughs> and then the legs go forward legs go back can't get it to go back too far we also get double jointed knees no calf rotation and then we do get the feet articulation and it sucks because you know you can get them done like that but then i'm having trouble with this one because the peg is pretty stuck so i don't want to break it it just won't go up as far and that happens to me sometimes but that's it for the articulation guys let's end the video actually no first let's get some comparisons Here's the comparison between the battle pack, or actually no, it was not a battle pack, between the Civil War triple pack Captain America battle damage and the current Red Skull figure that I am reviewing. And as you can see, the Captain America is a little bit taller and you might be saying, well, that looks perfect. Well, if you stand the Red Skull next to an Iron Man, he's going to be like towered over by the Iron Man. So I just like wish this Red Skull was a little bit taller. Like, heck, even make the Captain America figures taller. Just like, look at that size difference. It looks perfect. 
just when you put them next to other figures, it's just going to suck. Uh, but that is the only comparison I'm going to do just because it makes the most sense and, you know, they're mortal enemies. And I think that's perfect. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video review. Comment down below if you want to see more video reviews or comment down below if you want to see more video reviews on the superhero brothers talk show channel i just figured i'd bring it back just in case you guys wanted to see more marvel legend figures so this is the latest one this is the coolest red skull figure i have gotten thanks for watching guys superhero brothers talk show out of here